it's Isabella Russell here from Music Radio Creative and today I'm here to show you how to use Mike's Pro Podcast presets when, well, you are not Mike because let's face it, he's a little bit of an audio, audio ninja even though he doesn't like to admit it and I think it would be quite fun to show you how to use them from perspective from somebody who has much more limited audio knowledge uh, than Mike does. So I'm just going to play about inside the presets, just show you what each track does and how it works so that you get a better understanding as to how hopefully they could serve you. All right, so here we are inside the presets. Um, very straightforward. There are just a number of different tracks. Each is designed to tackle different uh, different styles of recording, but we've designed it to to be kind of very easy going, and you can just literally drag and drop. Um, so first um, three uh, tracks are essentially designed for recording more than one person at the time. So you can either drop your own audio podcast host, or if you have multiple um, hosts or guests, then obviously you have three tracks for that. Uh, this track specifically is designed to um, uplift audio, make it sound a little bit better and crisper. It is not designed to fix problematic audio. There are some other tracks for it, which I will show you in a minute. Um, so if I'm just going to get um, a kind of a good example of audio recording here, uh, let's just uh, listen to it before the presets are applied. Where he teaches clients from all walks of life how to grow and expand into a better version of themselves. And then how it sounds after. You and purpose to the world. He is the creator of Rare Breed Lifestyle Consulting, where he teaches clients from all walks of life how to grow. So it's kind of designed to, to uplift it, make it louder, kind of crisper and so on. Um, and then you would do the same thing. You would just, just literally drag and drop audio um, if you had more than one um, host or guest uh, in the show. Um, now, the next thing uh, that you will notice, there is a specific track for a Skype call. So if you had a Skype conversation recorded, uh, you would drop it in here. And essentially, it's aiming to address all the typical issues that a Skype interview could give you. Uh, I do have a, a Skype interview that I will pull in here. Um, Again, I'll just play a short before. I struggled because I knew, I felt like I wasn't being effective to anything in my life at that point. Not to sound dramatic, but I, I... I just want to say that that's a relatively good Skype interview as uh, as they go. <laughs> we all know uh, that some of them could be much worse. I think in this case, the guest actually had relatively good audio equipment on the other side. But if it is just... Um, the recording where somebody is just recording on the, the computer internal microphone, it can be much worse. And that's exactly what that track will address. Uh, this is how it sounds after. ...ability of my job and my health insurance. And we had two small kids that were under two years old. So like it was, it was a time where... Yeah, so it's... It's kind of, again, uplifted, um, it sounds crisper, it sounds a little bit better. None of those tracks are aggressive in how they um, treat audio because podcasts should not have aggressive post-processing. Um, there is also a separate track for uh, your intro and outro, so you can just drop those in here. Um, there is also a specific track for podcast music, and I will show you how that um, essentially works. It's designed to um, have... Um, a talk over music uh, over so if you wanted to, to talk over the music and have it nicely ducking in and out that's essentially what it will do so uh, if you listen to it, it you will be able to effectively hear the voice uh, speaking over the music we're back for another episode of the life outside the hustle podcast i am super pumped for this one today i sit down with brandon james duncan brandon is a father you can also uh, reduce the volume down a little bit. Note that this track is uh, quite diverse in terms of going up and down. Um, so it's it's going to be harder to for the voice to break through, uh, which is exactly why I wanted to show you that example, um, because it's an easy fix. You can just do a little bit of that. I am super pumped for this one. Today, I sit down with Brandon James Duncan. Brandon is a father, extreme athlete, and business owner focused on Oops. creating products, services, and experiences that give value and purpose to the world. He is the creator of Rare Breed Lifestyle Consulting. 
So you can easily adjust it up and down um, in more subtle uh, music bed where there isn't as much of percussion and other uh, instruments going on. It, it won't be um, probably needed, but it's just easy drag and drop so you can hear and adjust as to, to, to your level. Um, then there is uh, a track for podcast sound effects. So if you have any like whooshes, bumps and things like that, you can just place them on a separate track. Um, and uh, I guess the one, tr- well, the three tracks that are probably most requested and uh, most used are three hidden tracks. And uh, you can uh, bring them up if you press shift and number three. Uh, and there are three specific tracks that fix uh, issues uh, such as room echo, fan noise and room noise. Uh, these by far are the most requested problems uh, that uh, you may be tackling in with the recording. So uh, we've tried to address those here. So I'm going to show you some examples um, as to how they uh, work. So first of all, um, let's let's pull in uh, the echo sample. I've got a good um, echo sample. I'll put it on the echo track. Uh, I'll play it to you before. This is music for Lent week four. So this has been recorded in a church, um, echo chamber, essentially. And here is what the track will do to it. This is music for Lent week four, Healing River of the Spirit. This is... Uh, I mean, fantastic um, ability to essentially tackle it. So that's the number one. Um, uh, we have another echoey example here. So let's have a quick listen to it before. Right. Um. Or cost perspective that exists in China. I mentioned that China's lower cost perspective. So here it just sounds as if the, the person was a little bit far from uh, from the microphone and there is a little bit of going on in there. So let's have a listen to what the fix echo room um, track will do. I mentioned that China's lower cost perspective in combination with... So it will dampen down the echo, but I got a feeling that we might be better off trying and seeing how uh, those two other tracks could tackle it. It's good to try each of those um, on problematic audio, as it's very often the case, it's not just the echo. There is also a little bit of background noise. There is that room ambience and all sorts of other things. So try all of those and see what essentially works best for it. But here it is. Our podcast about the different and lower cost perspective. China's lower cost perspective in combination with so this is okay also it probably is too damp uh on the voice but let's have a quick look here in combination with the way in which the country is developed so here the room noise is definitely um too harsh on that so i would say it's this is the lower best cost perspective in com- the best track for that um for that sort of style of uh recording so um that's this one. Uh, we have also an uh, example with muffled speech. So let's just have a quick listen as to how this sounds before. Gosh, well, yeah, I think first it all just started out that I just love watches, uh, which is always a good place to start for your, your new watch company. Um, and I've just, as a, as a guy, I just found there's so many, there's so few ways that a guy can. So this, by the way, is a very, very typical issue where. First it all just started. There we go. With well, that kind of digital distortion, uh, the way you can fix it, it's just to merge the two, and they usually they usually work. Um, I'm not going to be doing it now, but you can you can just do that, and it works. Um, As a guy, I just found there's so many there's so few ways that. So we can now hear how this sounds inside the presets. Yeah, I think first it all just start out that I just love watches, uh, which is always a good place to start for your, your new watch company. Um, and I've just as a as it just makes it sound brighter. I wouldn't move it on any of the problematic um, problematic uh, tracks at all. Um, then the next one we have, uh, oh, those are really cool ones. It's on the street. It's recordings on the street. Uh, so a lot of noise in the background. Okay. So I, w- I work in the building. The people that that own this uh, skate shop are close friends of mine. But- so plenty of noise going on around there. And if we put it, so again, we, you should try and see how each of those tracks will address this. The building, the people that, that own this. Uh, this one is definitely not for it, but let's have a little look at the fan noise. The people that, that own this uh, skate shop. Not for it. I work in the building, the people That's that, much better. that own this uh, skate shop are 
close friends of mine, but um, it's still like a separate business entity. Right, okay. Yeah. And I mean, what is your primary objective? So this is so much better. Uh, there is also a second example um, also on the street if I just played it before. Or one one uh, use in that area and they have to stay contained within that box. But what really got me into... So plenty of noise. Look, if you hear this. Plenty of that noise. So we're trying to eliminate that um, if we just play it in here. Yeah, that you have this segregated area where you put one land use or one one uh, use in that area. And like, street skating that really speaks to me that I really enjoy doing best. So that was you that mentioned how noise. Can, how can cities make... Make a it's practically gone, look. So, a fantastic way uh, to get rid of that. Again, you can just use this to bring the volume up or down. Sometimes in really badly damaged audio, bringing the volume up then lifts up the vocals that have been treated. Makes a ton of difference. I mean, but what really got me. Uh, it's not always needed, so you will, you will need to judge whether to do it or not. It's this kind of yellow thing to lift it up and down. Um, so that's the street noise. Uh, we've got a few other samples here for you. Uh, so um, we've got uh, average audio. Let's bring that in. Uh, so kind of, you know, it's not great, but it's it's good enough, essentially. So if it needs a little bit of uplifting, let's have a listen. Of anime and 80s TV series that I saw reruns of as a child. <laughs> so uh, it's not a bad audio at all. It's just kind of you know average, good sounding audio. Yeah, I'm part of yesterday. Yesterday it was coming on, and I was like, uh, I hope it's again. It just brings it up, lifts it up. Uh, you know, it's just literally a drag and drop kind of thing. So um, very, very easy to do. Um, so those are the presets. That's a general overview. Uh, the as I say, the most kind of requested features are in those three hidden tracks. Uh, they really tackle pretty much any audio problem that you will have. Um, there has been very few examples where we could not treat the audio within within those three tracks. I hope this was really helpful to you and if you have any questions, simply head on over to musicradiocreative.com and uh, contact our team. What we are also very, very happy to do is uh, create a short demo showing you how those presets will sound with your voice. Send us a short sample, ask for a demo with Pro Podcast presets and uh, we will send back a little video uh, demo showing you exactly uh, how they will work uh, for you and your voice. Um, if you would like to get those presets, head on over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Those are pro podcast presets. Um, and if you have any comments, just comment down below. Thank you.